Hi guys, I'm going to be reviewing Stolen by Lucy Christopher. Here's the cover. And I was super excited to read this book. There was so much rave about it on Goodreads and um, just the story sounded so interesting and when I read the synopsis I thought it was going to be like this amazing story about this girl that gets kidnapped and stolen and it would just be about her experiences with the kidnapper and just would just be so unique and original and amazing um and this is what the synopsis looked like it's very brief so i'm quickly gonna read it to you guys it happened like this i was stolen from an airport taken from everything i knew everything i was used to taken to sand and heat dirt and danger and he expected me to love him. This is my story. A letter from nowhere. And when I read that, I was like, this is so original and unique. I can't wait to get this book. But this book was a disappointment. I gave it two stars out of five. It was just such a dragging story. And she was such an ordinary girl. There was nothing about the main character, Gemma, that made me feel sympathy towards her or made me feel anything towards her. She was so blah. Now, the kidnapper, on the other hand, and this is the weird part, he was the interesting character. Um, he was very distinct and... Um, for some bizarre reason, I didn't think he was, you know, that bad of a person, that monster. Um, and it was very frustrated to see how Gemma reacted to um, her situation being kidnapped. And I know, I mean, it must be frightening to be kidnapped. And um, I understand why she would be so stubborn and... In a way, I can understand why she would react the way she did. But it got to a point where it was just so boring and there was no action. And it was just very... the same thing over and over again. There was one thing about Ty that terrified me. And I have to say that I was a little paranoid after reading that... The way he stopped Gemma and everything that preceded the kidnapping, that was frightening. He was like a hardcore stalker. And um, I am like terrified of people stalking me. And whenever I'm walking around, I'm always looking back to see if someone's like, you know, just following me or something. So that freaked me out a little bit more than it already does. Yeah, so as much as I like Ty, he was undeniably crazy. So yeah, I wouldn't really recommend this book. I think it didn't impact me in any way and four-fifths of the book I was just like, oh my god, some action, so boring. And I don't like book like that. I don't think anyone does. The book was way too descriptive, like way too descriptive. And I love books that have a lot of description, but this book exceeded the normal acceptable description in books. It was just like too much. And it was just description all the time. And that's just too useless to have description if nothing's happening. But then again, on Goodreads, the average rating for this book is 3.98 stars, so practically 4 stars. So even though I, I gave this book 2 out of 5 stars, clearly some people out there like this book. So if you feel like buying this book and reading it, then do, I'm sure. Um, some people like this book, I didn't at all, but you might be one of the people that do like this book. But keep in mind that this book is very descriptive. Gemma is a really one-dimensional, immature character. 
and um, this book really didn't impact me in any way. So yeah, this was my first negative review on Reboot Books and um, I don't like giving negative reviews but I also don't like reading books that are not enjoyable. So I feel that it's worthwhile um, sharing my opinions on a book even though I don't like it and um, yeah it doesn't mean I'm bashing the author or the book it's just personal opinion I hope this review was useful to you and if you have any questions post them below and I will put the link to my Twitter Goodreads which by the way I'm constantly updating my Goodreads I'm totally addicted to Goodreads I love it and um, also to my personal YouTube channel, so if you want to check those out, please do. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!